Hello, fellow calligraphy lovers. Nick here. Today I'm doing another experiment of mine. That is painting with my brush and ink, because I quite enjoyed doing the Blackbird video last time. And frankly, I just finished my two weeks Twin Peaks marathon. Call me obsessed. I needed an outlet from the mind-boggling mysteries created by David Lynch. I even edited one of my calligraphy tutorials in a Lynchian visual style. So I thought a painting was needed for the sake of my mental health. Anywho, I know it's annoying to hear me blabbling about my Twin Peaks issues, so let's get on with the painting. I selected three of the most iconic sceneries in Twin Peaks: the mountains, the waterfall, the mill, and connected them horizontally. I decided to do this painting in the style of Chinese painting, and one of the most obvious visual elements of a Chinese painting is diffused perspective, in contrast to a linear perspective, which creates depth on a surface. Diffused perspective creates length. It doesn't emphasize realism, so all the subjects in the painting are more or less on the same surface, with the same size. One issue with this method is that you can't stack two things on top of another in a painting. So what do you do? Right, you put them side by side, and as long as you can afford to, you can technically have thousands of subjects lined up, hence the length. Now for this painting, I wanted to combine both perspectives to have depth and length. As you could probably tell earlier, I first laid the ground layer with diluted ink, anchoring the key contents, so I won't tilt the horizontal line as I move along the paper. And I went back and forth a couple of times to enhance the contrast of different subjects, and added details. And each time, I used thicker ink to create sharper and more definitive lines, in order to use various shades of grey to create depth. Now, this is only a very brief summary of the steps I took to create this painting. I should maybe do a tutorial on this one too. If you think it's a good idea to do more paintings, just leave a comment below and remember to like and subscribe. Cheers. Okay, so next, a traditional Chinese painting needs to have scripts. This can be a poem or just a sentence. So for my painting, I decided to use one of the interesting lines a character in Twin Peaks said. In a dream, our world is a magical smokescreen. It's just bizarre, isn't it? Well, if you have seen the show, this is said by the log lady. But if you haven't seen the show, she looks and sounds insane, but full of wisdoms too. And this line, in my opinion, is the essence of the show that the director David Lynch wanted to deliver. I can't explain the show now. My brain is still on fire. Why do you think I'm doing this painting? It's calming me down. I think. The second line here is one of the lines I, or many Twin Peaks victims, remember well. Owls are not what they seem. The owl is a key clue in Twin Peaks, and in the show, 
It's a very ominous sign when an owl shows up. Something bad is going to happen. It's giving me the chills as I'm saying it. Eesh. In the last part of my painting, I wrote down a Chinese idiom to summarize my experience watching this show. 夜长梦多 or in English, a long night is fraught with dreams. This character here is Dream in Chinese. The dreams in the show are essential to putting together the puzzles of the plot, and some might say that the show itself is just a dream. Maybe. So there you go, my homage to David Lynch, an outlet for myself. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you'd like to practice calligraphy or painting, leave a comment. I'd love to work on a project with you. Until then, enjoy creating, and sweet dreams. <laughs>